in the little porch, this is St Mary's Church, Dalham. Um, I'll take the vicar's name, he might be able to give me some information. I bet you they've probably locked it up. Oh no, it's open. Oh, they must have had a wedding here, it's full of ribbons and flowers. Oh, it's so pretty and I haven't got a camera. Oh, shame. I do go back couple of days later with a camera and take lots and lots of photos which I will put on with this tape. I've got another tape left. It's very pretty. Beautiful stained glass windows everywhere. And, and where someone's had a wedding, there's all flowers decorating the aisles. Wooden benches with carvings on the top. I'm just walking up towards the aisle now up the aisle towards the altar to have a look at some of the memorial slabs of marble on the walls. There's Colonel Frank Rhodes, he's up there. There's John Affick Esquire of Nettle, and of Nettle, his wife. He died 1718, age 67, and she died 1729, age 66. Like I said, it was the 16th century when the Stutfields were here. I don't know if they have... Oh yes, I've just found a great big memorial. What a shame I haven't got my camera. Right by the altar. There's even um, little carved figures, head figures of people. There's a coat of arms up the top. Um, I can't describe it. Um, it's got three birds on it. Looks like a lion, and maybe three crowns, and it's of um, here something rather. It says it's in Latin, I'm afraid. So I can only just pick up Martin Stutfell Esquire, um, something of Thomas Stutfell. It's all in Latin. Um, generosity, something or other. At yeah, I'm trying to pick out the words. Something about it looks like America. Uh, Father Draco, something rather. Do 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 do. Oh, it looks like October. Um, but anyway, there's a large marble plaque. Now, Sir France, Sir, Sir Martin Stutville was a friend of Sir Francis Drake and he went on one of the voyages with him to America and I have got the full inscription of that Latin prose on there um, which is obviously on my family tree site so yeah the follow-up I've done a lot of follow-up on these plaques black pillows two skulls there's um what looks like an Oliver Cromwell hat pitched above it below on the slab says four there's eight little um, choir boys, each side of the altar, and that is to the Stupvilles, right by the altar. Um, and Martin, Martin it says, and Thomas. So they are remembered here. Then, oh yes, there's another great big plaque right by the altar again. I should have to bring Zara here, she can't miss this. Um, this is a stone carved pillar type structure with a thing on the top and it says in big writing here lieth Thomas Stutford Esquire, late lord of the town and patron of this church and Anne his wife. They continued and kept hospitality in their manor place here 40 years together and they had, it looks like either 15 or 18, it must be 15 children, and they had seven sons and eight daughters. He died the 11th of May, 1571, at his age 65, and the said Anne, and then there's no more written. That is brilliant, that is our ancestors. And that lies in a, like a little um, alcove with shields that were obviously being scratched and defamated by the Puritans. I had to come
come back because I had to bring Zara back here to see this because she never saw Zaka. So that's it, they were right up by the altar, these people. And I hope I've got this all on tape. Yes, I have. Then you've got um, another slab of the, near to the church, I deposit the mortal remains of Sir James Affleck, Baronet. Affleck is spelled A-F-F-L-E-C-K. And General and His Majesty Forces. So I'm just going back to the Stuckvilles again. My great great grandmother going back was called Anne, and her mother was called Anne as well. So that's quite interesting. She had a lot of brothers and sisters. But uh, on the other plaque, it does mention something about America, but it's all in Latin. And so whether they moved away. And um, I'm not sure. On the floor, you've got lots of... Um, here lies the body, daughter of Thomas, looks like Cornwall, and Francis, his wife, who died in 1690, in the memory of Eliza Pulleen, daughter of Henry and Eliza Pulleen of Carlton Hall in the county of York, who died in the 19th year of her age, 1788. Then you've got the Reverend Gilbert Affleck, late rector of this parish, who died in 1763, age 51. And Elizabeth, his wife, died 9th of January, 1775, age 53. And then there's an Eliza Affleck, eldest daughter of the Afflecks. She was only 21 when she died. There's lots of little things in here. Frances Cornwall, the daughter of Thomas Cornwall, rector, and Frances, his wife, who died 1688, aged six years. There's another one, which is not so easy to see. Oh my goodness. These are my ancestors here. I can't believe it. I must bring Zara here so we can take some more pictures. Right, over the, um, where the bells are and the steeple is, you've got a great big plaque on the white background, painted black, and it says, To the honour of God, this steeple was re rectified in the year of our Lord, 1625, by Sir Martin Stutfill, Knight, Patron of this church, also Thomas Warner, Doctor of Divinity, Rector of the same. Um, the inhabitants and landholders of the town of Dalmain, assisted by the religious bounty of divers, baronets, knights, ladies, gentlemen, gentlewomen, and other of the patron's friends, whose offering at his request yielded to this work so much money, the whole charge amounting to £400. So one of our ancestors was responsible for the steeple of this church. I've just phoned Zara and told her. So I'm carrying on looking now. Yeah, next to the church, if you go through a little gate, there's also um, a more modern cemetery of people as well. Um, it's beautiful here, mind. Of course, I want to go back with the video recorder as well to get the, another perspective because um, at the moment I'm putting the audio together with photos um, which is quite time consuming but it is really quite personal as well because you have to pick and choose but um, I do want to do a video eventually I can't describe it oh it's great space reserved there's even more angles of the church from here that I need to get 